Hey guys, welcome to Building Ghana's Future, a place where we build homes for Africa and her children. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Almighty God for blessing us with a beautiful day today. All right, so today's video, we are going to be following up on what to do next after you buy your land, all right? Um, there are a few steps that you can take before construction begins, all right? And so a uh, few things that we're going to be talking about today is um, finding your building plan, or the type of building that you would like to construct, um, finding an architect to change the details, um, specifically the um, measuring units and to follow the building codes of Ghana. All right. So they will have to convert depending on what type of building you pick up. If it's already like designed for Ghana, then you have no issues with that. You know, it should be straightforward. But if it's a, a building plan that you've picked up from another country, then yes, the measuring units would have to be changed for the local artisans to be able to, uh, you know, be able to understand what it is that they're reading. All right. So um, the building plan, the architect, the bill of quantities, which will break down the um, the cost of the entire building, all right? Permits that you will need um, in the, before you can construct. And um, yeah, so stay tuned and um, listen up. Okay, so last week um, we spoke about buying land, uh, the whole process of buying land. All right, so in this episode, uh, we are talking about what happens after you've paid the owner of the land and now you are the new owner. So as you can see on my screen there is a page over here. This is the first page of my indenture. All right, so the indenture is a document that you receive um, after you've purchased a land. Alright? That's gonna be most of the case. Alright, so you're not gonna receive title for most of the land because it's an expensive process that most people kind of avoid um, going through so especially when you buy the land and it's you know it's not a completed house a house more than likely you might have a title on it um, but with the lands especially from the um, customary the uh, the chiefs um, more than likely there's no title on it so you would receive an indenture all right so indenture um, it comes in many pages this is just the beginning um, page of it all right um, to me the uh, there there are several pages that you can go into um, where the nitty-gritty stuff is as far as how many years you would receive you know um, on the land that you're purchasing um, lucky for me I got you know 99 years because I'm a Ghanaian citizen so that was a uh, that was great for me, but for foreigners, um, you can get up to 50 years, all right? And that up to is very important because, you know, you might go and think in 50 years is what you're going to get, but you might not receive it based on um, how many years the person has left on it. So let's say if the person you're buying it from is a foreigner, um, for example, an African-American has... Um, moved to Ghana and you know they've made a deal struck a deal with the chiefs in their area or in some area and um, the chiefs have given them the land for 50 years to you know lease it to that person for 50 years so now they want to lease it to other African Americans or whoever is coming to Ghana that's not a Ghanaian um, if they've already, let's say, lived on the land for five years, you, the new purchaser, you're not going to get 50 years because they only have 45 years left on that lease. So you would get 45 maximum or less. And that's usually how it works. All right. Um, okay. So this is another page. Um, you know, we have, there are going to be other uh, pages like where they, High court people that are witnessing and whatnot was signed. So this is the oath of proof 
um, this goes through the High Court of Ghana and they will stamp it and sign their names and all that fun stuff. Um, there is also another page um, that I can show you. Okay, so um, this is where it marks out, you know, the entire land that you've purchased um, for you. All right, so it would show in, uh, you know, some sort of box over here that's marked out um, the entire, whether it's a plot of land, whether it's 10 plots, 100 plots, whatever it is, it's going to be in the indenture. Um, and this is where the indenture is a very important document because everything that you do um, from that time, you know, after you've purchased the land, uh, the land onwards, you're going to have to provide your indenture to get the approvals in it. All right. So um, once the indenture is approved in the high court, you know, when you go to do your um, register, your building plans and all that stuff, you have to take your indenture with you as well. So this is a very important document that you have to hold on to with your whole life because if you lose this document and um, you know it's it's like losing your passport you know somebody could do damage to you all right so all right uh, let's get these pages out all right so after you're done with this process and you know getting the approval from the high court now you have your indenture you're ready to go Next is to have your building plan ready. So you deal with a local architect. Um, I know most of you outside would like to pick a building plan that comes from um, somewhere else. You know, maybe, I don't know, in my case, my building plan is from like Florida. So, you know, you pick up that plan with all, the, all of its information, the building dimensions and all that stuff. And I contacted a, a local architect just so they can change all of that, you know, the details to um, the standards in Ghana. All right. So he pretty much took everything, um, changed it over to our measuring units, um, created a full um, building plan that can be approved and can be used in Ghana. All right. So once that information was uh, ready um, this is just a cover page for my building plan all right so I didn't want to show the whole building plan because I don't find it necessary but it did come in this type of form he covered it up with this um, page all right and once um, you have that now you can go to your local district so your local district is where um, the approval would come in. Um, once you get that approval, that means you're good to put up that building. All right. So you put up that building. Um, you're going to get a building permit like this. All right. And that gives you the approval to start constructing your building which is the fun part. All of these, um, going through these process, it can be very, you know, tedious if um, you go through it the normal way, which is, you know, less expensive. But um, there's always ways to expedite these type of processes, but it's going to cost you extra, just like everything else in Ghana. All right. Um, before you can even get that uh, approval, here is another page too that um, you will receive. Um, I believe every district might be different, so your paperwork might not look like mine, but this was the application form that we had to submit um, in order to get the, the page I had shown you um, before. So this is the first step. and. This is the second step. Once you have this, then you know you have the green light to begin. Now you will see people in Ghana that have um, begin their building process before they even get the permit. 
and usually you will see writings on their wall saying you know stop building and there's a date there's going to be a date on the wall as well um, those are the people that you know are taking shortcuts they, either maybe their approval their permit hasn't been approved yet or they just all out decided to start building their homes without um, getting a permit um, there is a fine for that so I don't know how that goes because I didn't go through that process but I do know that you get fined um, for those kind of uh, issues all right when when you have that issue you get fined all right so um, that's pretty much it because once once from from this end going uh, you're ready to build your home and in our next um, episode we are going to be talking about the fun part you know when you start building uh, the next episode is going to be about the profiling uh, process you know when you're building your home you have to start with your profile all right so thank you all for coming this week showing up um, and see you next week thank you